Kia ora and welcome to Richie Likes JPEGs. I hope you are enjoying the content so far. If you are, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notifications bell, but right now go ahead and smash that like button. It does me the world of good with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so if you saw my last video, it was about a project called Rebels um, and um, it was a suggestion in my comments and I did the wrong project. So uh, to make up for it, I'm doing the the proper uh, project that I was supposed to do and it is actually called Rebels by Night so let's take a look at that one if you remember the last one I kind of tore it to shreds I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do that to this one um, this one is called Rebels by Night here's the website it's just a landing page at this stage um, that's all good uh, the art looks that they've got on the landing page looks dope uh, the Twitter page has 27 tweets and started in January uh, 2022. That's all right. It's got 63,000 followers already. Mm, you know, that's that's a lot, right? Um, and it's only following four. That's not my biggest. I'm not the biggest fan of projects not following uh more like, I think they should they, they should start following valid uh, valued community members like people that have already whitelisted um, influencers they plan on working with but um, just following for not a red flag but I, I prefer projects to to follow uh, more than that if we look you know I'm a, a a big fan of checking out who follows this project out of the people I follow so when we click on that and we have a look um, there's quite a few people that I know and like in the space that are following this project. Um, there's a couple of respectable board ape kind of crypto punk doodles, people who are value members of this uh, community. Oshiny here follows it. Oshiny is known as someone who's quite influential in this space. Um, couple of good friends couple of woodies and, and photographers fellow photographers that's really good the one that really got me was Blau is following this project now if you don't know Blau Blau is like the king of music NFTs and the fact that Blau is following this project is a big deal to me um, that side of things is a green flag as far as like who's following this project that I follow as well um, and then also they there's a recording of um, them all talking about this which is uh, pretty amazing so if um this project visually looks good to you i recommend i haven't listened to this um this recording i've only just seen it now i did know that blau was a fan of this project and knows these people but i did not know that there was a video recording of the the twitter spaces that they had so i would definitely be uh listening to that and um and, and probably will comment in my description after I've read this, after I've listened to that, what I, um, uh, some any, any added information that I have uh, regarding this video. Uh, so the art looks dope. The, the art is amazing. Well, I mean, the art looks dope. It looks amazing. But, and bear with me here, it does have it's that kind of 3d render that is very popular right now and kind of is starting to look very copy and paste-ish um where you know it, it it reminds me of hate beast mixed with mechaverse mixed with um truly near thugs even it's just like um got got this feel about it that that is very copy and paste-ish even though it's amazing like it is seriously like seriously amazing art so I don't know if that's just because they're using an artist that is um, helping those other projects out or as part of a, a company that's helping those other projects out but it, um, it, it the art does kind of remind me of of, of that stuff um, that's not a, a red flag or a green flag and then when I went into the discord yes I've been into the discord already I asked about who the artist was because I couldn't really see them paying homage or tribute to the artist very much uh, on their website or on their Instagram but it, the, I got a message on discord to go 
to the the the, the followers or the following who the the rebels page is following and i came up that uh, alex is the artist and alex uh has 84 tweets joined in october 2021 um no links to any kind of like portfolio or bio about the artist alex which i think is not you know not very informative it's it's it could just be like a dummy page to just say that we're not really acknowledging the artist um but i I would love to see what i would love to see is um a lot more um information about the artist um and saying that you know like i because i feel like like all the roadmaps and everything looks the same these days so having a strong bond with the artist really really helps me believe in a project more um but yeah so not a lot of information about the artist even on uh their own page um the other team members are like you know been around since 2012 2017 and 2009 they're all um like again followed by people that i follow um similar people to who was following the project blau and oshiny and same again with this person so the the fact that blau is endorsing this project in an offhand way is a huge green flag for me uh, because even if the artist isn't fully doxxed I don't think he'd be um, backing a a group of randoms. I think he'd be backing personal friends because he he doesn't need to to be an influencer who just backs randoms. Uh, So I think he knows the team and I think um, that's a huge green flag for me. Uh, Maybe they just hired an artist who doesn't want to be at the forefront of the project and or is part of this big machine of nfts coming out of somewhere um and so they they part of that deal is that the artist just creates the work and doesn't get um too much shine um and not a probably not a huge cut um that's fine business wise um community wise and branding wise i think projects will always do better if they have more about the artists um so yeah so far uh i i'm giving this green flags um just judging by the twitter and the the website and the art yep green flags um the the instagram's pretty you know pretty standard it was created two weeks ago um and it's just yeah it's not not that that amazing so um but that you know it's twitter i mean it's instagram it doesn't it doesn't need to be because we all know that um twitter is the place to be for nft projects all right taking a look at the discord um 75 members uh we can see here that there's going to be a supply of 13,370. that is such a random number it's a big number it's usually 10,000. if you know about nft projects 10,000 is usually the, the 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 maximum these projects go up to so 13,370. that's so random but uh good i like it uh you know i mean you know there's a lot more people coming into nfts um and um yeah it's okay to have numbers that are slightly bigger um announcements no no wait frequently asked questions here's the, here's the cool part or well, one of the cool parts where are we uh rebels nft and com- is it any rebels is the nft and community project started by a group of friends passionate about art fashion and tech our team has a great technical and artistic vision but prefers to under promise and over deliver we'll share more information as we get closer to the milestones and we'll focus on execution until then um i love that under promise over deliver part uh when rebels launch uh, they're hoping for early april I've been offered an exclusive minting opportunity. Is this real? No, we will never contact you. Um, how can I get a whitelist spot? Basically, how to get a whitelist spot is just uh, be a cool person in the Discord. Um, don't spam. Don't uh, message the devs or the mods. Don't message the team. Just be a good person in the um, Discord channel. 
uh, elite role. What is elite? We'll share more information very soon on this. The elite. L-E-E-T role will be given to whitelist members that continue with outstanding community building work and help shape sub-communities within Rebels. So there's this other level, there's a higher level of um, uh, whitelist spot, which is elite role. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I want, I've never seen that before. I want to make a collab with Rebels. Yep, for business, get hold of this. All right. This part is amazing. Rebels collection will compromise of 13,370 cost customizable NFTs. Mint will be split into three parts. The LEET or LEET sale. Uh, there will be 1,337 members and they will get... Um, oh, so, so it will be NFTs from number one to 1337 so that block of nfts so the first lot of mints will be a free mint um to me that is that's really good because it's it shows me how smart the team really is that they know that they they don't need to charge a lot on um the, the mint day because um they will always make their money on the secondary anyway uh, here's the, the next coolest part, the whitelist sale, uh, there's roughly 6,000 of these from numbers 1337 to 7331 and they will be priced at 0.08 Ethereum. Boom, they know what they're doing, that is so dope. And then public sale uh, is the rest of them from 7,331 to 13,370. Um, mechanism and price to be announced. Um, how many mints per wallet? The number of mints per wallet will be announced closer to time. Um, so the, the good thing about the, the Instagram is that um, the Instagram account is, oops, I've gone to the wrong page, sorry. And it's not letting me go back. That is great. Thank you very much. That, so annoying <laughs> sorry everyone i'm just having a bit of a technical meltdown here um the <laughs> the instagram page does show you um the art which is really 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 um is really good because you can just get, come here and have a look at some of the sneak peeks and a nice like concise looking um profile um so yeah my 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 initial thoughts are uh green flag all the way uh, the reason being is the association with blau that to me you know um little things really really spark my interest and i really really admire and trust blau and so i feel like if he's backing this project then it's not a rug pull or a cash grab um the price says it's not a cash grab um you know all nfts are essentially about making money and so in some kind of way a cash grab but it's not like a blatant let's just milk at the maximum amount of money we can from our investors our community because really they could be charging 0.3 with hype this much with this many people and this in the discord and on the twitter talking about it they could really just go 0.3 and milk this for everything it's worth but um they're not they're going with a 0 0.08 and a free mint for some people so those things make this a huge uh greed flag um although i think that artist needs more limelight and i'm not the biggest fan of the 3d render thing that starting to look like hate beast um trillionaire thugs um there's there's a few other projects these renders are starting to look like they're coming out of a massive factory but that could be that could be the tinfoil hat Richie speaking um, I know some of you really love tinfoil hat Richie but I try not to bring him on here that much because I feel like sometimes he could be doing more damage uh, to his own reputation and to other projects um, but um, other than that that I really really like the art like I really like 
the sense of fashion and style that these um, avatars have. Um, I really like that cowboy hat one on the bottom left, um, the, the deep green, um, the, the eyes. I like these kind of Kangol style hats here and even these masks on and also this 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 um like hat oh, i forget what these hats are called um the 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 art is dope like i will be trying to get in on this project um for a lot of reasons um but mainly the fact that blau is is, is back in it that's huge for me that is that is as soon as i saw that like i was looking at a lot of things and i was like oh you know you know you know and then um i saw that blau was back in it and i was like oh oh huge green flag and then also also the the low price and the under promise over deliver part of their roadmap um it just shows me that this team is really really smart like they really know what they're doing they've they've, they've they either know or they've been taught the right way to do things so um yep huge green flag for me uh which is you know in stark contrast to the last rebels video i did uh, i hope you enjoyed that video uh don't forget none of this is financial advice do your own research and remember that the whole nft market could crash and go to zero so take profits and take care i will see you very soon for the next video P -p -p peace